good afternoon from Disney's Hollywood Studios. There are so many Christmas decorations that we haven't seen yet here. Also, there's a lot of Christmas treats here. So we're gonna try some of their treats and check out their Christmas decorations or holiday decorations. They're all retro and super fun. So let's go inside and have a look around. Oh, also it's cold today, but I think it's gonna be warm again tomorrow. So I am wearing a sweatshirt. I know it looks strange, but I'm kind of cold right now. Oh wow, yeah, look at this. This is Christmas, if I've ever seen it here in Hollywood Studios. But the first thing that we had to do was stop off and pick up a times guide because inside of that times guide is all kinds of different information. And then on the back, we've got all kinds of little treats for the holidays that are available. That looks like a lot of good stuff. There's a, there's a couple of things that I'm really excited for. Definitely the holiday blondie and a couple of these other things here. The Mickey Santa hat chocolate mousse sounds so good and I think it looks real good. There's a picture of it down there. Let's go in and find some treats. First stop is over here on the right hand side. So if I turn to my left, the Chinese theater is down there at the end of the block. But we're going into the Trolley Car Cafe, which is actually just the Starbucks location here in Disney's Hollywood Studios. So here are the two things that are available here at the Starbucks. I'm totally gonna get this chocolate chestnut pine cone. They have them on display out here and it looks very interesting. I'm excited to try it. This was actually remarkably easy to get because it was just in the cold case right in front. Didn't have to order or anything, just reached and grabbed it. But it kind of looks like it has fingerprints all over it. Hopefully those aren't from like little kids just like poking at it. Never know though, we'll find out. Hopefully I don't get sick. Here's a little bit closer look at this pine cone. Looks like super sugary goodness. Lovely chocolate in there too. So I'm really interested to try this. I'm kind of excited. I hope this is really good because it looks really good. Well. And that is a lot, so I thought it was going to be crunchy, but it's super soft. It's like a very soft cake. Huh. Can you guys see that? Yeah. That's, that's interesting. I know that like the little nest on the bottom is crunchy, but I thought that this top part would be crunchy too. It's good. It's very cool, chocolatey, creamy. Yeah. Tastes like chocolate mousse almost. I don't know why this is supposed to be like a cake, but it's like a chocolate mousse. This thing is so darn delicious. I just got into like the, the oatmeal like crust part down there. It's like crushed up cereal with sugar and then chocolate mousse on top and then powdered sugar. Wow, this is awesome. I wanna eat this every time that I come here now. All right, where should we go next? I'm thinking because we're sort of down here near Rosie's All-American Cafe, Catalina Eddie's, and Fairfax Fair. Kind of thinking I want to try this Goofy's Hot Chocolate, Not Hot Chocolate Marine. Whatever that means, sounds good to me. So we're headed down towards the Tower of Terror because on the left is Rosie's All-American Cafe and that's where the Varine is. Am I saying that right? Is it a Varine? So once we've made it down here to the sign, which is starting to look pretty bright as the sun is starting to set, we are going to turn to our left and head over here to Rosie's All-American Diner. And we are getting the not-so-hot chocolate. That's what we're getting. The short name is Goofy's Hot Chocolate Varine, but on the map it says it's Goofy's Hot Chocolate Not-so-Hot Chocolate Varine. I am very intrigued by this one. Still don't know what Varine means. Looks pretty good. It's nice and large. A lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. It costs $4.99. I have no idea what these little things on the top are, or what any of it is, actually. But. I'm excited to try it, it looks good. All right, so now I'm in the holiday spirit because they're playing 77 Santas out here. My favorite holiday song, well not, you know, guys know that Christmas is starting now is my favorite one, but you know. It makes me, puts me in the mood when I hear 77 Santas. Still don't know what those things on the top were. They didn't have any flavor, but that just tasted like a chocolate pudding, a type of chocolate pudding, as if you would have taken hot chocolate and turned it into pudding. This is really interesting. Sorry, I'm trying to get another scoop out here. Yeah, it tastes just like hot chocolate, but like a pudding version of hot chocolate. That's interesting. I wonder if you took hot chocolate and you mixed it in with pudding mix and made pudding out of hot chocolate, if it would taste like this. It might. I wonder if there's anything further down. I'm gonna keep checking, keep digging, see what else I can find in there. Yeah, as we got further down, there is like some chocolate cake in the very bottom. It's a delicious dessert. It's not too heavy, not too sugary. I think a varine is my new favorite thing as far as desserts go. I could eat these all day long and it wouldn't upset my stomach because there's basically nothing to it. 
almost feels like it's sugar-free, but I know it's not, because it is still sweet. But you know how you can have like sugar-free pudding? I don't know. I'm gonna finish this up and then we're gonna pick out our next treat. All right, I'm thinking of maybe trying a couple more things. Maybe three more things. I wanna get this holiday wreath, I wanna get this Santa hat, and then I think I wanna get this blondie. So let's start heading in that direction towards ABC Commissary and Backlot Express. We made it back out onto Sunset just in time for the Beauty and the Beast show to be lighting out. So. Quite a big crowd coming down Sunset. So I'm turning by the Brown Derby and I totally forgot about all of these vintage decorations that they have all around the park here. Like these ladies over here with their umbrellas, their candy cane umbrellas. I love the juxtaposition of these holiday decorations with Darth Maul in the background spinning around his lightsabers. Yeah, all of the lights are starting to turn on. Oh, Star Wars. Oh, real quick, the Frozen sing-along is about to start and they're doing a holiday ending so let's go inside and watch the Frozen sing-along. Welcome to this very special day. Only it's special because, well, for the first time in forever. Uh, well, <laughs> Elsa and I will be celebrating Arendelle's ringing up the Yule Bell. Yeah, hey, yeah, that's great. Oh, I'm Anna. <clears throat> oh, I mean, uh, Princess Anna. Hi. Uh, oh, <clears throat> now I am honored to introduce to you the royal historians of Arendelle. Hello, I'm Aria. Oh, oh thank you. And I'm Sir Eric. Oh, uh, no, 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 wait, 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 Just Eric, thank oh, you. Well, thank you, uh, just Eric. Oh, and what better way to ring in the season than for the royal historians to share the story of our kingdom. Oh, and our queen, who just happens to be my sister, Queen Elsa. Oh, yeah! yeah. Where, uh, where is Queen Elsa? Oh, I've been looking forward to this moment for so long. Um, I don't know. What are you going to do? It's almost time to ring the old bell and Elsa's missing! Yeah, I know. And everyone's already here! Princess. It's almost as bad as that blizzard. Almost. Uh, Anna! Oh. Hi! We have got this. You go and find your sister and we'll share the history of Arendelle. Oh. Yeah, we'll lead everyone through all the royal anthems, right? Yeah. Oh. We also invite you to join us in the singing of any of our Arendelle anthems. Follow along if you don't know the words. <laughs> I think they know the words. All right, so where do you want to start? I got this. Let it go! Let it go! No, 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 no! Not yet. Say that. Work up to it. There are two sisters who loved each other very much. Princess Elsa and Princess Anna. Now, Princess Elsa was different. She was born with special powers. Magical powers that created snow and ice. Do you want to build a snowman? It doesn't have to be a snowman. Oh, wait, Anna. Okay, bye. See you in two weeks. Do you have to go? You'll be fine, Elsa. Aria? Uh-huh. What's happening? I'll explain it to you later. Where'd the ship go? Well, you know, you know they went to a party? Oh, I didn't see you. Right? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it was a lot of fun that it's totally what happened. They die? Dead parents? Yeah. What is this, Bambi? Or the Lion King? Or Finding Nemo, or Tarzan, or Snow White, or Cinderella, or Beauty and the Beast, or Lilo and Stitch, or Big Hero 6, or The Good Dinosaur, or The Jungle Book, or Coco. Maybe not Coco, not 100% sure, but there's a lot of dead people in it. They really like death. Yeah. Merry Christmas, everyone. This propelled Elsa towards her destiny, and our story forward to the best day ever, Coronation Day! Coronations, I love them! Cause for the first time in forever, There'll be music, there'll be light. All of the citizens of Arendelle, plus dignitaries from all around, gathered for the royal coronation. Elsa was nervous, but she was able to keep her powers hidden long enough to be sworn in as Queen of Arendelle. And then the party! Oh, yeah. yeah! Chocolate and hot dogs! Oh, yes, there was chocolate. That is in open. Can I say something crazy? Will you marry me? <gasps> Can I say something even crazier? Yes! Now, as Queen Elsa once said, and I quote, you can't marry a man you just met. Well, as Princess Anna once said, and I quote, you can if it's true love. Anna did push Elsa too far, causing her to accidentally throw ice across the ballroom. They called her a witch yeah. and a sorcerer. Sorry. She even impaled a guy. But no! Oh no, no! That did not happen. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. There you go. Elsa ran away across the fjord of Arendelle all by herself. She didn't even have a fjord escort. <laughs> She froze the whole fjord. She froze all of Arendelle, sending our beautiful kingdom into a dark, cold coast. It was beyond cold. It was frozen! <laughs> let it go! No, let no, it go! No, no, please! Let it go. Knock, knock. Who's there? Nicole. Nicole who? Nicole never bothered me anyway. <laughs> well, that's a good thing, because there's gonna be 
be a lot more snow. Cool. Anna was wondering if you've seen Elsie yet. It's almost time for the Winter Festival. Not that I recall. I, I think we would remember seeing the Queen of Arendelle. Well, do me a favor and keep an eye out for her. And that is where we meet the real hero of our story, an awesome talking snowman named... Olaf! Yes, he loves warm hugs and summer. A snowman that loves summer? How do you not like this guy? I drink in my hand, my snow up against the burning sand. Find out what happens to solid water when it gets warm. Olaf, Anna's spending Kristoff making Elsa's ice castle. Elsa tells Anna to go away and freezes her heart. Accidentally. But she learns of Arendelle's fate. And then she sends Marshmallow after them. Kristoff and Anna almost die by tripping off a cliff, but luckily the snow softens their fall. We learn that Olaf has no skull and no bones. I don't have a skull. Or bones. It's getting cold in here. That can only mean one thing. Oh, I hope so! Then we can officially bring in the holidays! Yeah. Oh, I'm out of Elsa! I'm so glad you're here. The royal historians have been telling our story. Thank you. And that was a very good story you told. I have a little holiday surprise for you. No! For all surprise! I like warm hugs, especially during the holidays. <laughs> Let's bring in the season. <gasps> Ooh, yay! I love bells. It's the first Christmas in forever, and it's already worth the wait. It's time to celebrate as we ring in the Here. I'm wondering what your family does at that time of year. Do you have tradition things for that time of year? Oh, chocolate! Oh, definitely chocolate! Old Fleming Grant, the fungus troll. Ew! And who doesn't like meeting tiny looks when it's for kids? part of the holiday season is. Well, my favorite tradition is being with you, Anna. You and all of our wonderful family and friends during the holidays. Sure, it's nice to open a gift that's tied up with a perfect bow. The greatest present was given to me long ago. Cause when we're together, I have everything on my list. I bow if you're there with me, that's my favorite place to be. Because when we're together, it's a holiday every night. And when we're together, it's my favorite time. Right as I came out of the frozen sing-along, I noticed that they still haven't lit up the tree here in Echo Lake, but the, all of the decorations are there. Oh, Santa Gertie too. We gotta go see Gertie the dinosaur with her Santa hat on. Also, they are setting up for the Jingle Bell Jingle Bam dessert party. Last year, this was out in front of the Chinese theater and now it's over here. So if you guys are doing the Jingle Bell Jingle Bam dessert party, this is where you'll come. There she is, Santa Gertie. I also talked to a cast member and they told me why they moved it from out in front of the Chinese theater, because there are celebrity hands prints out in front of the Chinese theater and with all of the people standing and moving chairs and moving tables and stuff like that out in front of it they were starting to get ruined so they moved it over here so as not to impact any more of the handprints we've made it over to the backlot Express and then after looking at the treats guide I found out that both of the items that we've already tried as well as the blondie are here so we could have just come straight here and had three things right away that's okay though Let's go get one of these blondies. The other good news is now we get to see how much the pine cone was. It was $6.99 and we're getting the holiday blondie for $5.99. Goofy's hot chocolate was $4.99. It's gonna be sugar overload by the end of this video, isn't it? So I feel like I kind of got like duped a little bit. 
So just on here, it says just Holiday Blondie. But then when I got to the Backlot Express and I saw up on the menu, it is cranberries, orange peel, and almond, which that doesn't sound like a Blondie. Blondie should have chocolate chips and everything. But now this is gonna be like a, I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna like this. Let's give it a try though. Okay, so here's what I was thinking. I was thinking because it's a Blondie and I was thinking there was gonna be chocolate chips in it, I wasn't gonna be happy with the cranberries and orange. But I think because there's no chocolate chips in it, the, the cranberries and the orange go well together. This is like a, almost like a sweet Thanksgiving sweetness. I don't, how do you describe this? Something that you eat at, eat at Thanksgiving that is sweet because of the cranberries and the orange and the almond. I don't know that I would get this again. It's not bad, just not like my favorite dessert to get. I think this kind of tastes like a sweeter version of a fruitcake, like a blondie fruitcake, because it's got orange, a fruit, cranberries, a fruit, and then almonds. I think that there is white chocolate in it though, because I keep getting these, like, you know how chocolate has a feeling in your mouth? I keep getting that, but I don't get any flavor out of it. So I think that that's a white chocolate morsel, maybe? I don't know. Oh, well, I don't think that I'm gonna recommend this one. Now we're gonna go over to ABC Commissary and get our last treat, maybe our last treat. We might go into Toy Story Land because I wanna see the decorations in there. And I think they've got um, a hot chocolate flight, which might be alcoholic, so I don't think we're gonna get that. And they have a holiday lunchbox tart. So let's go to ABC Commissary first and see what they've got over there. We've made it over to Grand Avenue, which leads out to Galaxy's Edge. This is Baseline, their sci-fi dine-in. We've got these we believe are gonna be new bathrooms over here. And we're headed towards Sci-Fi Dine-In. We're gonna go just past it, right next to it is ABC Commissary, which is where we're headed. And we're gonna try actually a couple of things over here. I looked at the, the little card that we got before coming over here and there's two things. There's a wreath cookie and the Santa hat. This is a holiday wreath cookie and this is a Santa hat mousse. And these were both $5.99. I do wish that there was a little bit more of a description of what the flavors were, but we'll find out. This one almost looks like it might be gingerbread. And uh, this one hopefully is chocolate. This is some some super creepy lighting out here, isn't it? All right, let's give this the little piece of the, the Santa hat and it is chocolate on the inside. That's good. It's like a chocolate mousse. Yeah, easy to eat chocolate mousse. All right, let's try the wreath cookie now. Here we go. Oh. Oh, that's weird. It's super pepperminty. It's like a sugar cookie with a peppermint flavor. And it's marshmallow on the inside. So it's like chewy. This is, oh no, it's falling apart. That was a strange one. I don't know that that's my favorite. Did not expect it to be peppermint like that. Ch chocolate mousse is delicious. The holiday wreath cookie, yeah. It's like a slight bit of gingerbread, but like not as, as potent as a gingerbread cookie. Marshmallow and peppermint. Very strange. Oh, another little note is that underneath the Santa hat mousse, there is a little sugar cookie. I wonder what this is. Weird. Oh, that was just a giant piece of white chocolate. Not what I expected at all. All right, I think we need to make one last stop by Woody's Lunchbox, have a look at the holiday lunchbox tart, and maybe the hot cocoa flight, because I'm wondering if that's alcoholic or not. If it's not, I'm totally gonna get that. Let's go and find out. So we just left ABC Commissary, and we are passing by the Chinese Theater, which will become Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. And we're headed in this direction. And one thing that I wanted to point out to you guys is you guys remember how I showed you guys the arch? was missing the sign. They have since put it back up, but it's the new style, the new logo for Disney's Hollywood Studios. We'll get a closer look in just a second. There it is, looking as sleek as ever. Kinda like it, it looks really good, backlit like that and everything. So from that archway, we're turning to our left and heading in this direction. That is the Chinese Theater. Down here is Walt Disney Presents, and if we kinda go around it, that's how we get into Toy Story Land. Here's Walt Disney Presents. Here's what I don't really understand is straight ahead of us used to be Municiburg. Back there was an Edna Mode meet and greet. You can get some Jack Jack Num Num cookies back there. That's closed off right now. I wonder why, but we're headed in this direction towards 
Toy Story Land. Oh look, Woody has his scarf on. Rex over there has some antlers on. But I think the thing that I am kind of blown away by is that if we kind of turn to our right, there's totally a building over there now. That's going to be the new barbecue restaurant here in Toy Story Land. I didn't know that there was a building there. I thought they were just clearing the land, but seems like they're moving a lot quicker than I thought they were. Oh, there's also Garland out here on the Toy Story Land sign with Woody. What other kind of different decorations can we find? Oh, Buzz has a Santa hat on over here. There's Woody and Bo Peep in their best holiday attire. Oh yeah, they look fantastic. <laughs> Of course, the Christmas lights are up always in Toy Story Land, but there are a few things that are a little bit more festive for the holiday season. Oh, okay, I made it over to Woody's Lunchbox, and the hot chocolate flight does have alcohol in it, and the Lunchbox tart is a cinnamon apple tart, which does not sound appealing to me. So I think we're gonna have a look around to some of the decorations out here and then head out. Alien Swirling Saucers is playing some Christmas music. How adorable was that? Alien Swirling Saucer playing some Christmas music. There are some green alien baubles over here right next to Jessie's meet and greet and Jessie's actually wearing her best holiday attire too. Now I think we're gonna head back over to Sunset, have just a quick peek down at Sunset Season's greetings. I think we'll probably come back a different day to get a better view of it, but I just wanna kinda see it on the way out. Also, before we leave, I wanted to stop by Echo Lake and have a look at the Christmas tree. Also listen to this rockin' Christmas music in the background. The great thing about Sunset Seasons Greetings is that it is a constant show. Like I said, we will definitely be back to see much, much more of this. And just to give you guys an idea, we saw this in years past. What we'll do is we'll put a link in the description down below so you guys can watch a video until we come back out to see it this year. Before we leave, I wanted to head into the dark room because there was something that I saw online that I wanted to see if we could see inside of the dark room. Here it is. Instead of having Magic Band Magic Bands, you can now buy Magic Band snap bracelets. So these will snap around your wrist and instead of having to buckle them, they should stay on just the same. But you guys remember snap bracelets from back in the day? Well now, they have them with a Magic Band slider on them. I wonder if I could take that slider off and put it on my watch band though. Ooh, that's the question right there. So there you have it, that was our trip out to Disney's Hollywood Studios to try five different holiday treats and to check out all the holiday decorations. There's still way more holiday treats to try, so I have a feeling we'll definitely be back to do another holiday treats around Disney's Hollywood Studios video. But all in all, a fantastic trip. So with that being said, we are off and we'll see you guys tomorrow. We're the Reclon family from Kentucky. And now it's time to pay the price.